Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. For those who went to college, we all know the challenges students face today. We have Sean Smith in studio, and he's from The College Project, an independent company that helps students with all things involved in the process of secondary education. Welcome to the show, Sean. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're excited because, you know, this is the time of the year that whether you're about to get ready to go to college next year or you're ready to transfer or if you're just kind of in that midpoint, you're like, what do I do now? So I wanted to go ahead and bring up, you know, we just finished fall semester or it's closing up now. Right. What should students who maybe want to do a transfer because they maybe they're ready to change schools, what should they be looking at? Yeah, unfortunately some students just make a mistake when they when they choose their initial school or maybe they chose a major that's that's not going to work out at that particular right. college. So they need to be looking at other options. Um, every college is going to have different requirements for, for transfer admissions. Uh, in many cases it might be too late to transfer by next semester, but they could still transfer for next fall. Yeah. So they need to just look into every opportunity, what the deadlines are, what scholarship opportunities are at, at every school because the transfer scholarships might be different from the freshman. Is that a hard process? Like, is that difficult to do the transfer? It's about the same as going into college initially. There is going to be an admissions application. They're going to want transcripts. They may want ACT or SAT scores. That depends on how, how long you've been in college. Oh, man. So it's kind of like applying, kind of starting over the whole process. Um, and is that something that you guys help with specifically? It is. I mean, we focus on high school students helping them make that initial choice. Right. But I work with several students that are... So they can feel free to give you guys a call sure. if they're like, hey, you know, I want to make a big, ch because it's a big change. It is. It's right. a, a big process and, you know, it's, again, like you said, it's kind of starting over again. Right. Now, I know scholarships are huge, you know, coming from when I was in school, I was like, any money I could get was right. all I was thankful for. Um, is there a... A schol are there scholarships for transfers? There are. Well, it depends on the college. In, right. in some cases, there are. Uh, I've had students that, that got more scholarship money when they transferred than they initially were offered when they were coming in as a freshman. So it just depends on the colleges. Now, a lot of high school seniors are kind of in the heart of application season right now. Right. Can you kind of give some of our viewers a little bit of, you know, information to help them through this process? Right. Um, yeah, college is going to be starting in less than a year for, for oh high school gosh. seniors. So uh, the application process really started back before the school semester started, before the first semester started. Right. So in many cases, they've missed deadlines for early deadlines, and okay. they may have missed scholarship deadlines. But in a lot of cases, the scholarship deadlines aren't until January, February. Uh, so they still have a couple of months but to it's, get things it's in. But it's on them. It's, it's, it's coming up. Uh, they should be looking into every scholarship opportunity at, at each school that they're applying to, financial aid, grants, loans, everything. Now, I know that, you know, this can kind of be overwhelming. Um, if, if a student's working with you because they're interested in scholarships, is that something you guys can help guide them through? Right. We just kind of navigate the process. I don't fill out their applications for them. I don't right. write their college essays for them, but I just proof it and make sure that they're staying on top of deadlines. And they know what opportunities are out there and that they're not missing anything. Well, I think it's so important because, you know, if you look at any successful person, um, they usually have a coach. Right. a mentor and I feel like that's something that you all are really great at doing is coaching these students through the process staying on top of them um, helping them figure out the guide not just the guidelines but the deadlines right. um, what deadlines like what are some of the big deadlines you said January and February Yes, yeah, so actually December 1st, which was last oh Friday, was, was a big deadline for many colleges, and, and I've seen some as early as mid-October to, to mid-November, uh, but a lot of schools will have a January 15th, February 1st, February 15th deadline for, for admissions and for some of their scholarship opportunities. Wow, so it's definitely game time. It's time. It, right. it, now, do you have anything else that, you know, could help students offset those costs with college? Well... When, when we work with the younger students, freshmen, sophomores, right. and juniors, we're always putting the impetus on the GPA. The, the grades, GPA. Getting involved, extracurricular activities, resume, ACT, right. SAT prep, which we do offer ACT prep courses throughout the year as well to help increase their scores and put them in a better position for scholarships. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Listen, uh, let's go ahead and get your information up on the screen so you all can go ahead and get a hold of the collegeprojectky.com. You've got a, a great workshop coming up, which, which is on your website. Right. Uh, go ahead, guys. Sean is phenomenal and he will really help steer and guide you. Sean, thank you so much for coming out today. We really appreciate it. We're back uh, and we're going to wrap things up after this short break. Troy's got me eating hot spicy <laughs> chips. It's going to get crazy in here. Stay with us. This is Midday Kentucky.